Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. And if you're not, welcome back. Today I am crafting for the curve and we are almost done. I think we have three or four more days left and I and a bunch of other YouTubers have taken on the challenge to craft for 15 days of our quarantine and hopefully encourage you guys to craft as well to stay home to flatten the curve of the coronavirus. So today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I blinged the Shane Dawson hoodie. This is actually a tutorial that I was planning to put on the internet, but I am just adding this intro. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you bling any YouTuber merch, make sure to hashtag craft for the curb and post it on Facebook or Instagram because we are giving away some really awesome prizes, maybe even including a hundred dollar gift card to shopantitay.com. So that you can get your bling, you can get all the things that we use, I use in my tutorials, and um, all the good things. So enjoy the rest of this series, and when it's done, I'm gonna be vlogging my quarantine life. Actually, I'll have four really cool videos and then I'll be vlogging. So I kind of asked you guys if you think that I should vlog and you said yes. And I'm super excited because I have some really awesome videos that have been needing to go up later that I've moved to right after this series. So scrapbox review, um, my studio tour, and without further ado, let's get going on Craft for the Curve. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am, and if you're not, welcome back. All right, today, this is weird, but, okay, so I am totally obsessed with the process that it takes to come out with products. Obviously, I love business, I have a business membership, and the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson series got me shook. They went into all the behind the scenes of their products and this is what I do on the daily. So I was like, this is such a cool series. I am so glad they are focusing on the product launching process rather than the drama. And so anyways, Shane Dawson came out with his merch line. You guys ready to see what I did to it? I blinged the piggy. Okay, so this is like the third round of him relaunching because his stuff sells out so quickly. And I debated like, do I buy the backpack? But that was already sold out. Do I buy the palette and bling it? But that was already sold out. So I bought the piggy sweatshirt, which is actually what I really wanted. And it's so cute. And I almost didn't want to bling it because I was like, what if I don't like it? But I do like it and I love it. But weirdly, and he can check the order form if he thinks I'm trying to copy anybody. I literally bought the sweatshirt in the morning and then he literally came out with a video about three hours later talking about his new obsession with Blink. Oh my God. I was like, wait, I'm gonna Blink your sweatshirt. I literally bought your sweatshirt to Blink it and now you're talking about that you're obsessed with Blink? Woo, okay. All right, so I gotta put this on the internet because he's obsessed with bling. So if you guys don't know, Auntie Tay Bling is my brand of bling. It comes in 1400 in multi-size packs in 40 different colors and it will withstand the Swarovski test. You can place them next to each other and you will literally see they're a little different shape, but they literally bling the same but it's not going to break the bank. So with that, if you need some bling so you can bling up your own YouTuber merch or your own products, not only do I have a ton of videos of ideas of other things to bling, but I also have the bling on Shop and Detail. If you're a member of my craft tay community or you're a member of my business membership, you also get 20% off all my products. All right, okay. So I will see you guys in the tutorial. Let's get going. Alrighty, so I picked this guy up off of Shane Dawson's website and it is so cute. It's this little embroidered piggy and there's a few different colors, but I thought instantly that it would look so adorable with our 16th birthday rhinestones. And then I decided I think I wanted to do the black part of the piggy because the embroidery was so cute I didn't want to cover too much of it up. 
So I actually chose to do just the little nostrils and his eyes with our 16th birthday. And then I used Enchanted for the other parts. So I'm just gonna use E6000 and make sure you put the cap back on because it will dry out and we're gonna use the new anti tay bling tool and I'm just going to fill in all the little gaps. This is why we do multi-size packs so that you can do all different projects in all different sizes and you can really decide if you wanna use all one size or if you wanna fill in the gaps of all the little spaces. So I actually did a big one right in the center and worked my way to smaller ones on the eyes and then I wanted to do the black and since I didn't have black in stock right at this moment, even though we have black now, which would be super cute on this hoodie, I wanted to use Enchanted to show you guys how the Enchanted, since it's naked on the back, doesn't, um, isn't always the same color depending on what you put it on. So it's not necessarily going to show up black, but it is an AB stone, which means it has all colors, it's holographic, but it's clear so that it picks up any color behind it. It did kind of register as a greenish color, but I'm not hating it. I think it's super cute. So it will pick up that black and it'll create the stone to be a little bit darker. You'll see a good example of this in my Mickey ear video where I do a black, a rose gold, and a silver. Um, and that will show you how this stone can actually really change color. You'll see that it's in the tray right here, very clear and white, and then once it's on the black, it is um, a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna take the other end of the anti tay tool, bling tool, and use it to get in all those little tiny holes, and then I'm going to use my little tiny stones. If you guys wanna see a fun hack on how to um, get to the smaller stones in the pack, watch the other bling video on my Harry Potter luggage tag. All right, and that's it. I love you guys.